What's up guys, it's Slyke like from here, we are back with yet another trove video on the channel and today, reset day is just around the corner, it is actually two minutes away, actually, until a new week is gonna be here and a new week spells profits, as you can see right here, my plants will be ready to be harvested in two minutes. So, of course, we're going to get that big payout again. Let's see how much I will be able to make through all of my plants as of right now. But before we begin with the video, there's something that I really, really want to address right now. And it is going to be about botting and about marketplace scams. So basically, what are these marketplace scams and how do these botters or these dirty cheating botters actually do it? So, if you were to, let's say, head on over into the market, let's, as you can see right here, there is going to be someone that is going to be listing a single glim for two flux. Now, what does this actually do? This actually lowers down the prices or the supposed price that it will show you on the marketplace listing. So, essentially, if you were to try and list one of these glims, for let's say a decent amount of prices and then you just head on over and take a look at what the lowest price is at right now the marketplace will show you that it is currently at two flux which is not going to be the case of course because it is actually going to be at 2.8 so the person who is actually doing this has so-called set up a marketplace bot in which will buy all of your so-called cheap items that you mistakenly price at a lower price because you depend on the lowest price that the marketplace has to offer. In which this is why I would like to remind each and every one of you in order to not get scammed to actually check the marketplace when you're trying to search for your items. Let's say you're gonna try to search for Cinnabar, be sure to check the market before even listing. As you can see, someone has already placed a Cinnabar in the market for 17 plus, which is definitely going to rip everyone off if they mistakenly place something in the market for lower than this price. So I would like to advise and strongly advise each and every one of you guys to be sure to recheck the market before listing any single item that you have in order to stay safe and in order to maximize your profits. So that will be all for that part. Now let's move on onto the main part of today's video. So as you can see, all of my golden soul plants will be ready to be harvested. So of course, as usual, we have already stocked up everything away. So as you can see, we have no golden souls in our inventory. We have got no eyes of QBs loose. We have got zero cinnabars as well. So let's just head on over and take a look at how many of these golden souls we'll be able to get and how much flux we will be able to receive from this one single harvest. So I'm going to be speeding up this video by a little bit and we're going to head on over into our next farm because I have got a couple of farms to be honest and we're going to see the total amount that I am going to earn within this time frame. Alright, there we go. We have just received 990 golden souls from this farm alone. So I'm gonna head on over back into the spawn of the club and try to get a couple of watering cans in order to actually get this going. As you can see, I've stocked up all my stuff right here in order to get the absolute accurate value of the amount that I will receive. The gardening, as you see right here, is definitely going to allow you to get a ton, and I mean a ton of flux. I have said this in many, many other videos on the channel, but I just can't seem to actually, you know, express the amount of flux that you could actually earn just from gardening. And it is definitely going to be the best method in order for you guys to actually make your flux. So if you've got, let's say, a million flux to spend and invest, I would like to suggest you guys to invest in gardening. Feel free in to invest in gardening, you know, spend a couple of hundred thousand fluxes on, let's say, a couple of materials like the glim for the compost and stuff like that. So let's head on over into my gardening world and let's check out what it has for us to actually get. I am 100% sure that we will actually be able to get quite a bit of stuff. Also, we have just received our weekly rewards, so that will be pretty cool. Now I'm just going to take all of that and we're going to head on over into the farm right here. So as you can see, 
tons and tons of plants just like what we had in the past couple of episodes we have got some eyes we have got some golden soul flowers sadly we did not water this flower so i guess we are going to literally waste one single harvest which is gonna be really really sad i i don't know why but i i just wasted i guess about seventy-five thousand flux by not checking how or how much the watering level should have been but i guess that happens sometimes but i guess that has just allowed us to you know lose quite a bit of flux but anyways let's continue and let's see how much we will be able to receive so starting off a ton of eyes of qb flues right off the bat we've got 11,000 so far and we are working on the golden soul flowers again receiving a ton of bubble pod seeds as well it would be really really nice to see how many bubble pod seeds we'll actually be able to get from this one single harvest although i already do have a ton of these bubble pod seeds but I would try to save up a thousand and probably host a pretty cool bubble pod party in the very near future so stay tuned for a pretty cool bubble pod party video once I hit about a thousand bubble pods in which won't take as crazy long because I'll probably require another let's say 10 or 15 harvests which will be about probably a month from now but that won't take long because essentially we will be able to complete that relatively soon. So we are almost going to be halfway through now we've got the primordial frames and let's go take those now we've got a ton of golden souls a ton of cinnabars as well so let's get all of these out of the way there we go nice and dandy we're gonna take these ones as well we're gonna get a ton of cinnabar but sadly these plants are gonna wither in a total of five days so i'm going to have to stock up on a couple of plants in order to get these to work so, so far, 495 golden souls with a ton of golden soul plants left to harvest, so I guess that will be pretty cool. Alright, so there we go. We've just watered each and every one of these plants, so let's just head on over and check how much flux we actually made from this one single harvest. So, don't really mind what I actually have in the marketplace as of right now. We're going to be starting off with a couple of cinnabar. So this is, as you see right here, lowest price 17, but if you take a look at Cinnabar right now, it's going to be at a price of 29. So let's just say that this is going to be about 29 flux each, which will give us about 275,000 flux. So with that being out of the way, let's take a look at the Primordial Flame prices right now. So this is going to give us about 45,000 flux, which will amount up to, I guess, so far 320,000 flux. So let's check what the golden souls will be at now the golden souls will be at a whopping 1.8 million so 320,000 flux plus about let's say let's make it 1.9 million okay 1.9 million plus 320,000 that puts us at 2.22 million and of course without mentioning the eyes of QB flus they will be at about I guess 3.5 flux each so let me just estimate that at about 170,000 flux, which will then put us at a whopping amount of 2.39 million flux. So there we have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We managed to earn about 2.39 or 2.4 million flux just by harvesting one single time. So I guess I will price this at about let's say 955 probably and we will try to get that sold relatively soon so i guess that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next video and as usual peace out